Hi everyone, so today's look is called Hote by Day. It is uh, basically this promo. MAC came out with this uh, particular promo when they released their Hote Naughty Mascara, which is the tube that has the small wand and the big wand. And you can also pull out the pink area and just sort of roll it up halfway and make it look like a, like that, what is it, that ball, that danger that danger ball basically so you kind of have three in one once it's kind of yeah the Givenchy ball basically so a lot of companies have been doing the exact same thing I believe Rimmel from London has a has like the exact duplicate colors and everything L'Oreal has done one um, I'm waiting for a cruelty free brand to do one this used to be my favorite mascara from MAC um, well it is my favorite mascara from MAC I just don't buy it anymore because it's MAC but basically I've been kept keeping this promo because I always wanted to redo this look um, up here. It's very bold and striking yet very simple to do. Um, I threw this on. I literally had like 30 minutes to throw it on so it's super easy. I'd love to do this for you at a later date. Um, what I like about this one is the simplicity and natural look of the overall look except for the daring liner. The eyebrow is very simplistic but strong and then I just did a very soft face because I didn't want to compete with the look or the eye look since, um, well, we don't really know what's going on with the face. So I just kept it sweet and simple. So I hope that you enjoy this look and thanks so much for watching. Okay, so to get started on the look, I'm going to take Max Magenta Lip Liner and we've already prepped and primed the eyelids with Urban Decay Primer Potion in Original. Now we're going to start drawing um, above the crease. I'm going to start doing little strokes going inside. And then I'm going to go up around the shape of my crease. And then we're just going to pull it like so. Alright, so now I'm going to take a little bit of Inglot's number 362, which is just that really pretty matte pink. And we're just going to stamp it all along the line of the MAC lip liner. And then we're going to wait, and then we're going to get it dark, the intensity out here. And then we're just going to kind of feather it in so it lightens up a little bit. I'm going to do the same thing underneath. You could also take a softer pink if you want, because the promo does have a softer pink. However, um... I think it's gonna just look like a stripe outside of like the photo shoot pick. Now the model's very pale, so it actually just looks like she might be wearing like orb or something. But I think she's wearing like a very porcelain-esque shade. So I'm going to be taking a dupe of Blanc type. If you were doing this in MAC, that pink would just be um, passionate, unless you have like a pro color. They probably did use like a pink cream color base or a pink gel liner for the crease. But I think that's a little harsh like the softness of the liner and then the shadow on it. So I'm just going to pat that around the crease to soften it, which is why I did the crease before any shadows at all. And because I feel this looks a little like, I don't know, kind of meh, not done, I'm going to be taking a little bit of MAC Sushi Flower, but you can take any sort of pinky corally color. This also re replicates well as a blush, so if you have like a blush that's kind of like this color, that will do too. So we're just going to go along the outer area, just sort of smoke it out a little bit, make it interesting or worth doing, I guess you should say.
this is kind of making it more wearable in my opinion because I'm going to work after this. I'm just going to soften it out a little bit more. I'm going to be taking a little bit of Max Yogurt. You can find a dupe of this inside the Wet n Wild Lust palette or even um, the Too Faced Romantic Eye palette depending on how much you want to spend. And then we're just going to take that and then feather that out. You have a large quantity of this color inside the Romantic palette, so if that concerns you, you get quite a bit of it. It's also a nice all over lid shade and highlight shade. And then we're just going to soften the edges up with yogurt. I'm going to take a little bit of Gesso by MAC, which is just this matte white color. You could take any matte white. There's a million matte whites in the world. And we're just going to pat that all over the center of the lid and then tap that over the brow bone and then push it back out. I know I say I don't like to use the fluffiest brush for the brow because I don't like it to look over blended, but in this case, could use a little bit of that since there's not a whole lot of colors going on. We're not going to get muddy. I'm going to take a little bit of Inglot Gel Liner number 77, and we're just going to take this little angular brush. It is just a synthetic crown brush, but I know all their brushes aren't synthetic. And we're just going to start in the lower area, or sorry, the outer area. And then we're just going to pull that out very fine. And then we're going to keep going inward. We're going to get thinner as we go inward. So that might help to do the inner area first and then meet it right here. Now for the inner area, this is the trickiest part. We're just going to take the point like it's facing this way towards the eye. And then there, so that's kind of just how the eyeliner is. You'll definitely want to set that with matte black shadow just because of the white that's all around the eye. And we're just going to take that matte black from the Wet n Wild Greed palette. Any cheap black will just be beautiful. You don't need anything expensive. Take a clean angled brush because sometimes the gel could get into your eyeshadow. And even though this is a cheap palette, you don't want to buy it 10 times just because you keep ruining the black. And sometimes uh, you can't find all the Wet n Wild palettes. They go pretty quick. All right, so just like that. I'm going to take Matte Chromographic Pencil in NC15 NW20. You could also take the Urban Decay one as well. That one is uh, $17. You have a bigger stick, actually. It's fatter, so you're probably going to get more product. It's creamy. Just get their lightest shade because this is their lightest shade if you want to replicate the picture exactly. And even if you have darker skin, this is still nice, even if you do get it in the lightest shade, because it'll brighten it up, but it won't be as weird looking as uh, fascinating, which I actually really don't care for fascinating. I prefer this pencil. So just like that. I'm gonna take Jerome Russell, uh, 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 sorry, these are Jerome Russell Mr. Winks lashes. It's from the Jerome Russell company. They are Mr. Winks. I have a feeling that they do um, also sell the same supplier as also Ardell's because uh, number 117 in this brand and Ardell's number 117s are identical. So you can go to Ardell Lashes uh, and get these Sally's or JeromeRussell.com. I'll put a link below 
uh, in the bottom bar for dreamwrestle.com. I actually do really like this particular set um, of lashes. I love the number 117s. I actually have them in a few different brands, and yeah, they're all alike. So it doesn't matter. They're all like from like generic. Um, I'm sure they all buy them like generic and then just sell them. So yeah, these are all human hair, so they are vegan approved because they're not from an, derived from an animal. Hair's willfully donated. And then we're just going to take a little bit of Kiss Lash Glue because it is formaldehyde free and has less, less toxins in it and it does give a nice flexible 24 hour hold. But just a heads up on this, it is stickier than the Duo. Um, so you'll definitely want to put a little bit of liner on top so that it kind of seals it. And definitely make sure that you get the outer corners so they don't pop up. So I'm going to use my finger to shape these, pop these on, and we'll be right back with the rest of the face. Now I picked up a little bit of the, um, a sample of the Nuance Salma Hyatt Flawless Wear Tinted Moisturizer. This is a drugstore um, brand. It's uh, said to be cruelty free. It's inspired by her grandmother, whose products help design every woman enhance the nuance that defines her individual beauty. So this is a sample. I wanted to get um, a sample of something that, a color I could actually wear, but for some reason the deepest color was the last thing there. So I figured I would test it as a contour color. So we're just going to apply a little bit of that. And if I like it, I think this would be good in my good to have a few of these for people with different skin tones so you can just kind of mix and match them. Some women have flawless skin and they don't really need anything else. So I'm just going to keep on buffing that in. kind of priced the same as Physician's Formula, but I saw coupon deals for it already, which was nice. Because I just assumed that participating brands did that, but I don't know if CVS chooses for them. It looks very natural. I really enjoy that, actually, because the look is very pale to begin with, but I like to just sort of sculpt lightly on pale looks. I've already dusted my face over with Inglot YSM face powder. Now I'm going to take a little bit of Inglot's uh, blush, number 35. This is my dupe of NARS Sex Appeal because it goes on pretty much the same color on. It's just a really light peach. I'm just going to put that on. This one's very easy to apply. Well, it's really easy to apply any color that doesn't stray away from your skin tones. I'm just going to smooth that on real quick. And kind of my simple go-to highlighter, which is Inglot's number 467. I just want to keep the face very simple. Because we really don't have... Oh, I don't know what the face looks like. There is no promo of the face. So I just want to keep it eye-based. As not to sort of take away from uh, the idea of their look here. Because it is just pretty much an eye promo. I don't, want to, I don't want to recreate the look, I guess you could say. Now for the lips, I want something really soft and sweet. Like I said, as to not create, recreate the look since I have no visual of the lips, we're just gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna take a little bit of Max Lip Glass and Cultured. Just super simple. And then I'm also gonna take a little bit of Max Lip Glass and Pink Poodle. And put the dark one on top because if I put the light one on top, it would have gotten this weird, weird pearly finish that I really don't want at all. So yeah, that is the Hote look. I hope you enjoyed and thanks so much for watching.